John Pomgren. I'm Ron Shaw. Glad you're with us here tonight. Elmwood Plaza stepping up first. Dan Larkin, the left fielder, leading it off, the left-hander. Getting ready to take the first pitch from Kelly Palazio. He takes a strike on one. And Ron, Dan would like to say hi to his mom and dad. And welcome, John. You Thank were here you. Tuesday Thank night. You. I, I was here not. Tuesday. We missed you. Glad you're back. Short of the plate. One and one. Powers one to the second baseman. Throw over to first. One down. Carlos Lameo steps up the left center fielder. Carlos would like to say hi to his family and friends. Matt Montes out in left field. Mark Johnson, the left center fielder. Al Sanchez Jr. out in right center field. Bill Schultz is the right fielder. Bill Muziel is at third base. Guy Bueller at shortstop. Nick Sanchez, the deep short. Ernie Eves is at second base. Mario Nuzo is over at first base. Rob Jones, the catcher, and Kelly Palazio doing the pitching. And Palazio with the toss over to first base, quickly two down. Oh, went real high there to catch that ball run. Good leaping ability. Made a good play. Two up, two down. Ernie DeLeo, the shortstop in there. Ernie says hi to TV Land and all his friends and family. Drives one deep to center field over the head of the left center fielder as that one rolling all the way out to the street. Our first run of the ball game as Elmwood takes the lead on DeLeo's home run, 1-0. Well, Ernie built pretty well there. He's got some muscle uh, up on top, and uh, he used it that time and got it all. Put it between the outfielders for a big home run. Line drive shot between the outfielders, 1-0 our score now. Rick Morales stepping up the right center fielder. Rick Morales works at Insincorator. He would like to say hi to all his family. Ronas playing right center field. Too high on that first pitch. And you know who this person is, Ron? Rick Moronis? He has a famous brother. Yeah, right. Eric Moronis, the one who does the uh, solo on the saxophone with Star Spangled Banner at heart. Right. I thought you were going to say uh, no, his brother was no. Rick Moranis or something. No, 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 <laughs> not a joke. Just giving him a plug. So he's out on the air. Bertel Sadufa playing first base. I think it's Saldivar. Bertel Saldivar. Saldivar. These are all my ex-students, so I know these names pretty well here. He works at Elmwood Plaza. He says hi to all his family and girlfriends and brother Ramon. Plural on the Yeah, girlfriend. it's got an S on there. Towards third, fair ball, a high throw to first. Will allow the runner to take third, and he's going to hold it up there. The throw coming to the plate, high throw. He is safe going underneath the slide. And with that, the runner going down to second base, 2-0. Our score, unusual play, John. Well, nice play, though. Uh, Berto hitting that ball very hard, allowing uh, Moronis to come around. And I'm going to get Berto out of trouble here. Uh, it doesn't say girlfriends. It's got girlfriend and it's got a little arrow. Okay. So I'm going to get him off the hook. <laughs> 2 nothing. our score. Runner at second base. Berto down at second base. And Paul Flan steps up the right fielder. Paul works at Telecable. He says hi to everyone. Boy, that's a lot of people. Yeah. George Short, big hop. Throw to first. Or out number three as Mueller gunning that ball over to first base. Couple runs scoring in the inning. One hit, one left. As we go to the bottom half of inning number one, Westside will be sending up Mario Muzo, Guy Mueller, and Matt Monsta. The first three coming up. Defensively, Dan Larkin out in left field. Carlos Amea is the left center fielder. Right center field. Is Rick Moronis. The right fielder is Paul Flones. Around the infield at third base is Donnie Wanowitz at shortstop. Ernie DeLeo 
The uh, deep short is Nick Schnacht. At second base is Darren Anderson. Over at first base is Berto Devota. And doing the catching is Pat Matson. Doing the pitching is Joey Zavara. The defensive alignments for Elmwood, or for, yes, for Elmwood Plaza. Mario Uzo, first baseman, leading it off here. Mario liked to say hi to his girlfriend Katrina and to his brother Richard. Goes after a high pitch to second. And throw over to first base in time for out number one. Anderson with the pickup that time, staying with it, firing it to first. Kai Mueller shortstop. Ron, this is a first. Get ready for this one. Are you ready? He would like to say hi to his girlfriend, Shelly. Oh, he hit the ball. I'm going to wait. I'm going to make Shelly wait. Long run. Nice running catch out in right field. Balones with a great catch coming on. Should we make Shelly wait till the next time he's up at bed? Right. Okay. Shelly, hang on. Get ready. Matt Monti. Left fielder now steps up. Matt would like to hi say hi to all his family and friends watching tonight. Two outs, nobody on base. Much like the top half of the inning that started out. Strike one. Line drive, base hit to center field. He's going to go for two, the throw high, and he's in there at second base with the double. Yeah, well, that, it was, out. that was hit deep enough there where he could round that base, and he saw them picking up that ball, and he knew that he had plenty of time, so with his speed, he made it down the second easily. Mark Johnson stepping up. Mark would like to say hi to his wife, Robin, and his son. Doesn't say his name, though. His idol is Paul Molitor. And short, the throw to first. Got him for out number three. No runs, one hit, one left. We played one. Two nothing our score the second after this. Schaefer Motor Sales of Racine, one of Wisconsin's largest Pontiac Jeep Eagle dealers. For over 40 years, Schaefer has been a name thousands of new car owners have come to trust. Nobody beats a Schaefer deal. Nobody. All new Grand Am, just 10690. New Eagle Summit, three doors, 6390. New air conditioned six cylinder Grand Prix, 13590. For the best buy on a new car, come to Schaefer. Schaefer Motor Sales, four miles east of I 94, Highway 20, Racine. Need new furniture, but hate paying full retail prices? Shop Total Furniture Outlet. You'll find everyday values like these. Five-piece contemporary dinette crafted in oak solids and veneers. Includes table and four padded oak chairs. All five pieces, just $3.99. Coordinated living room group includes sofa, love seat, two oak end tables, oak cocktail table, and two lamps. All seven pieces, just $8.99. Remember, if you pay retail, it's your own fault. Buy from Total Furniture Outlets. Highway 11 Racine, Highway 50 Kenosha. Second inning of play, 2-0 our score. Elmwood Plaza up on top of West Side Lounge. Nick Schnack leading it off. Schnack, Zavara, and Wadowitz. First three coming up here for Elmwood Plaza. And Nick works at Rude Lighting. He says hi to everyone, including Judy. Hopper back to Palacio, who grabs it. Fires to first, one down. We will be having a player of the game and the conclusion of this ball game, one player from each of the teams, so gotta keep track of that. Joey Zavara, the pitcher. Joey says hi to all the pretty girls, especially his sisters, Lisa, Sherry, and Carrie. Strike one. And then one of his teammates handed me another piece of paper, which I'll re read later. In between everybody for the base hit. As he hustles back to first base, hit number two in the ball game for Elmwood Plaza. And Donnie Wadowitz steps in. Donnie says hi to that balding history teacher, Dick Kiswick, at 
a famous high school on the south side of town. Oh, I see. For a minute there, I was, uh, I thought... Uh, you might. thought, yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. Back down at third base, <laughs> goes to second for the force out. Nice play, getting that force out at second base. Two down now. Maybe I'm not so glad you're back. <laughs> <laughs> Two down, Pat Matson stepping up. Rudy Navarro says hi to his son, Michael. And Pat Matson goes to school at Whitewater. He says hi to his family and friends. And Larry. Base hit. Underneath the glove of the right center fielder. One run is going to score. Matson turns second, goes for third. They're going to wave him home, and he is going to score. 4 nothing now to score. Well, big hit again, Ron, right through the fielders. And he just kept running. He saw the ball get by him, and he didn't stop all the way around. 4 nothing the score. Darren Anderson now stepping up. Darren? Oh, you uh, you had mentioned uh, Rudy Navarro. I don't think he's here tonight, though. So. Oh. But he still says hi. To okay, him. we'll say hi to Rudy anyway. Darren Anderson attends UWM, and he says hi to all family and friends. Gets underneath that one, sending it out towards left center field. Johnson moving over, making the catch. But again, damage done here. Two runs scoring in the inning on just one hit once again. Four runs, two hits now for Elmwood Plaza. No runs, one hit for West Side Lounge. They'll be sending up their five, six, and seven hitters in Musil, Palacio, and Eames, the first three coming up here. Want to remind you, one good cop, Jacob's Ladder, Opportunity Knocks, and Too Much Sun. Just some of the offerings on the movie channel this month. And for the movie channel or any other, other premium channels, all you have to do is call Telecable at 637-9637. That's 637-9637. Bill coming up here. He's going to be the uh, playing third base in this ballgame. A little warm out here tonight uh, than Tuesday night. Very nice, <laughs> very nice tonight. Tropical. Yep. Little breeze tonight, but uh, boy, that sun makes such a difference, doesn't it? Oh, it certainly does. Beautiful day today. And going to be better tomorrow. Uh, yep. And all weekend they're talking. First pitch is high for a ball. We're in the bottom of the second inning. Four nothing. Our score. Is this Bill Musso, the third baseman? Right. He works at Ganton Technologies. His hobby is women and weightlifting. He would like to say hi to his girlfriend Terry. Gets a piece of it, following it off, and a full count. Two balls and a strike. I'm glad. I bet Terry's glad she knows his hobbies now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least she knows where he is uh, when she's not around that uh, he's out there weightlifting, right? As he heads for third, high throw in here. And he'll hold up at third, ball getting away momentarily, but they pick it up. So the leadoff runner on third base. And Kelly Palazzo, the pitcher, stepping up. Kelly is a senior at UW-Whitewater. He's majoring in Spanish. He would like to say hi to Carrie, Katie, Tony, and the rest of the Palacios family. Of course, uh, a lot of them watching on our affiliate out in Whitewater tonight. As they see him get a base hit, drive in the first run for West Side Lounge. 4 1 now, the score. That's what you call helping your own cause as a pitcher. 4 1 our score. Eric Enos. And Eric would like to say hi to his sister Marcy, his brother Chris, his fiance Kim, and her family. And he looks like he means business up there. Well, he's another one of those guys with the big arms that yep. just look like they can hit that ball a mile. That is a strike, evening up the count at one and one. Baseball going on, JV baseball going on at the other diamond again tonight. Right back to the mound. Throw to first. Double play. Nice play. Get the shot right back to the mound. Firing it over to first base for two outs. Now nobody on base. Bill Schultz 
right fielder stepping in. I don't know who's over there tonight, though. Can't tell. Fly ball towards right field. The catch being made for out number three. One run scoring in the inning on two hits. Our totals after two innings, four runs, two hits for Elmwood Plaza. One run, three hits for Westside Lounge. Elmwood Plaza will be sending the top of the order coming up here as Dan Larkin will be leading it off along with John Pomgren. I'm Ron Chell. Glad you're with us here tonight. And this Thursday night as we complete one week of softball already. Isn't that something? And Ron, there's a lot of action going on. I see soccer going on around us. A lot of softball playing, as we already said, baseball behind us. So there's a lot of things going on tonight. A little uh, tennis going on, too. Yeah, there's even a few people playing tennis tonight. So there's a good crowd. We've got a good crowd on hand. So it's spring is coming, John. People are happy to be able to get outside and enjoy the uh, little bit of warmer weather than we've had the last, let's say, month. I think it's been about a month. It's been an awfully Seems long like time. <laughs> Seems like a lot more than that, doesn't right. it? Larkin goes after a high pitch, drills it out towards right field. They had him play nicely out there. Schultz making the catch for out number one. Boy, you got a lot on that ball. Oh, yeah. Out towards right. He got it all. Carlos Omeo stepping up. He grounded out his first time up. Over right one. Charlie Hale, our home plate umpire tonight. Barry Roberts doing the honors on the bases in this first game. Nice hop. The throw gets the fleet flying Amea going down the line that time for out number two. Yeah, very clean play. Good pickup, good throw there. Amaya's got some speed, but still got him. I want to say something about uh, our umpire tonight, Barry Roberts. He is like to say hi to his sons, Dave and Mike, and it's Dave's birthday today, so happy birthday, Dave. DeLeo hits it all a little bit to the right of where that last one went that time. They were playing a little bit deeper. So a three up, three down inning here in the top half of inning number three, nothing across. 4-1 our score. We move to the bottom half of the third inning. And we'll have Al Sanchez Jr., Nick Sanchez, and Rob Jones, the first three coming up here for Westside Lounge. If you like a copy of this game or any game you might see throughout the year, all you have to do is call the good doctor, Dr. Ruth, at 632-3131 for more information. You must call within a week at the date of your game. Good doctors in the office, Monday through Friday hours of 9 o'clock in the morning and 5 o'clock in the afternoon. She does take a lunch hour, so she might not be there if you're calling at a particular time. You must call within one week of the date of the game. Get the phone number 632-3131. Would Real. the nurse answer the phone if the doctor wasn't in? Might. Just might. You never know. Somebody will answer the phone anyway. Al Sanchez Jr., the right center fielder, is getting ready to step in here as we start the bottom half of inning number three. Al would like to say hi to mom and dad, hi to his girlfriend Michelle, also hi to his grandparents. That is a strike, 0 1. Line drive, finds a hole into right field for the base hit. Number four in the ball game for West Side Lounge. Lead off runner is on as Nick Sanchez, the deep short, steps in. Nick would like to say hi to his mom and dad and his family, and he's hi to all his teachers at school. The end of the semester, isn't it? <laughs> Finals are coming now. You always have to say hi to those teachers. Do you find that students are a little more friendlier <laughs> this time of the year? <laughs> you hear a lot more please and thank you. <laughs> Out towards left field. Larkin makes a catch and fires it into second base. Nice throw into second. One down. And Rob Jones steps in. Rob would like to say hi to both his mothers and I love you, Christy. I believe that I'm reading that correctly. Short of the plate for a ball, ball one. Pops 
one up. And it hits the runner. So he is out to throw to second, high throw. As the throw gets away at third base, so. So there are two down. Yeah, Rob hit that ball in the fair territory, and it when it hit the ground, it kind of spun back at him, and while he was running down the baseline, he was in fair territory, and it hit him, so he's out. And the runner's going to have to go. I thought that, that uh, the runner has to go back that's to first base. That's a dead ball, yes. It's a dead ball after mm -hmm. it hits him, and he cannot advance, so that's why he has to go all the way back to first base. He had hustled very alertly down to second, and the ball got away down at second, and hustled over to third, but it was a dead ball, so all for naught got a little exercise in the meantime. Well, it's still heads up thinking. He still gave it the try. Mike Molina stepping up. Mike would like to say hi to his family. <laughs> Short of the plate. Full count. And he fouls that one off. So he is out of there for the third out of the inning. In the inning, no runs, one hit, one left. We played three. Four to one is our score. The fourth coming up when we return. At the Crystal Motors, we're entering our sixth year of business serving Racine Area's automotive needs. Our recent expansion and remodeling will allow us to serve our customers even more efficiently. Our quality, safety-inspected used cars are put through the paces to ensure that you will receive the absolute highest level of satisfaction after delivery. You can count on our knowledgeable staff of sales and service personnel. We have over 40 years of combined automotive experience. At DeQuisto Motors, you'll always find 35 ready-to-go used cars and prices starting at just $29.95. Remember, at DeCrystal Motors, we'll only offer quality, safety-inspected cars from a qualified and knowledgeable sales staff, full-service financial assistance for one-stop shopping, and finally, our service will always back the sale. If you're looking for a quality used car at a fair price, stop out and see us. DeQuisto Motors, your key to quality used cars for six years in a row. Call 634-CARS today. We're ready to start the fourth inning of play. Four to one is our score. We'll bring you the next couple of innings. The shaker, the news shaker, as we always call them. And we know that for sure now, as that ball knocks off the deep shorts, he uh, leaves the state and he causes an earthquake out in California. <laughs> I got out just in time, Ron. <laughs> It started but, shaking, but, so I left. Yeah, but that's why, it, I mean, it was so surprised to it see It was a little shaky there. when yeah. I was there, yeah. right? Okay, that's Rick right. Moronis on a net base hit. So he's got a leadoff hit. Was that your first earthquake? No, actually it was a second. We had one back in 89, but it was uh, only a 3.5, so it wasn't much. And this was a 6.1, so it was a good shake. And uh, it's, it's all that it's built up to be. It is. There's a shot in the right field, base hit. Moronis round second on the way to third. As Saldivar go, hustles down to second. Here comes Moronis hustling all the way home. Here comes the ball and he's in safely. And on that throw, Saldivar goes down to third and he's in there at third. So a big hit by Saldivar bringing in Moronis and a good piece of running by Moronis to make it home. That makes the score five to one now. Five runs and three, four hits now. for Elmwood, and that brings up Paul Flonis. He grounded out back in the first. He hits a shot to deep short where Nick Sanchez makes the catch. Out number one. Tell you what, I, I, continuing on with the earthquake uh, situation, I mean, you've been in a situation where there's a chance of a tornado or a chance of an earthquake. Uh, what would you choose? Well, I'll tell you in a second here. There's a ground ball to Mueller over at short. Throw to Munoz at first. Couldn't hang on to it. Saldivar scores. He scores the second run of the inning, the sixth run of the game for Elmwood. And Shook winds up there at first. We'll call it an error. 
You know, that's what they compare it out there. All the news stations, all that, you know, the people would call in and they say, well, we live with earthquakes, but the Midwest lives with tornadoes. But there's a little more warning with tornadoes. Earthquake, you're just sitting there. We were sitting and watching TV, and all of a sudden, uh, everything started shaking, and the pictures started moving. And, you know, it's... You know when there's bad weather and you see a warning on TV. Right. With this, there's absolutely no warning. There's a fly ball hit into the air. Short right field. Second baseman goes back off of his glove. Hustling down to second base is Shook. He had to wait to see if he was going to catch it. That was so a long run by the second baseman that time, trying to backpedal to make the grab of it. So Zavala, Zavala winds up at first for... Good. Joe Jr. loves to play softball, wants to play in the Mexican tournament this summer with Joe Sr., wants to say a big hi to Lisa Garcia, and wishes mom a happy Mother's Day, also looking for a job. Well, with runners on first and, first and second, Donnie Wadowitz just hit a line drive down the third base line that's just going to clear everything as it goes out to the cars, and he runs all the way around for a big home, war home run, big hit. What a line drive by Wadowitz. Scores two runners ahead of him. So three more score here in the fourth inning. That's five run totals in the inning. Nine to one now is our score as Elmwood Plaza leads Westside Lounge. Yeah, we were actually uh, just this will end the, the earthquake <laughs> saga. <laughs> no, I mean it's we not were, everybody we were, experiences. It. My wife and I were actually sitting on the patio one evening. We we're talking about when we retire, this is where we want to come. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. <laughs> <laughs> the very next day, we had an earthquake, and Mueller says, there's no way. <laughs> so Matson flies up for out number two. So two outs and nobody on base for Darren Anderson. No, I, I have relatives that live up in the San Francisco area, and I mean, it's the same. I mean, you live with it. Plain and simple. I mean, well, you don't like it. You but probably get used to it, yeah. but uh, after just the, the big, the, just that one six one that we're in there. Right. And that was inside for a ball. But everybody voted. We took a family vote, and everybody <laughs> voted to go back next year. <laughs> big strike and a miss, and he is out of there to end the inning. So Anderson, the K for out number three, five runs. On one, two, three hits for Elmwood Plaza in their half of the fourth inning. So the score now is 9-1. Elmwood Plaza leads. She'll steal your heart at anything else that isn't nailed down. Don't miss Curly Sue this week on Viewer's Choice Pay-Per-View. Tune to Preview Channel 1 for information on how to order it. A reminder, too, we will be in there are some of the other events coming up on viewers choice this week and we want to remind you too we will be having a player of the game for each of the teams at the conclusion of this ball game fourth inning for west side lounge who needs eight to get back in this game mario munoz leads it off he's the leadoff batter in their order and guy mueller and matt montez got to get something going right here And Zavala with a pitch. Munoz hits one on the ground. Past Zavala. Shortstop picks it up. Fires wildly to first. But not far away. So Munoz has got to stay at first. So he's on with an error. Well, I'll tell you what. Those throws are getting closer and closer, closer to Jamal over there on our first base camera tonight. Well, Tuesday, uh, he was, I think, about three or four balls just went his way. And he was ducking left and right. We were breaking him in the first week. Got to break him in. There's a foul ball. Is this guy? This is guy. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Hi to girlfriend Shelly, who's watching the game at home. Also, if she's not too busy for the next 40 to 50 years, would she marry me? We're going to let it sink in for a while. Just let her think about Why it. Why 40 or 50 <laughs> years? There's a ground ball, the first picked up, tagged the base, so Mueller is out number one. You know, I would think about that. I mean, it's only 40 or 50 years. Only 40 or 50? Yeah. So we got a runner at second and one out for Matt Montez. He doubled his first time at bat. And right now she's sitting at home going, I do not believe that he did that. You know, if she would call a station, we could probably give him the answer. Yeah, right? that's true. We could even announce the answer. Maybe. That's right. That would, that's always nice. Nah, don't put pressure on her. No. 
there's a ball to Montez. Next pitch is a strike. You know, it always shakes me up. <laughs> <laughs> there's a line drive and the left field drops in for the base hit. You know, goes to third. He'll hold up there. And on that throw to third, Montez goes down to second. And on that wild throw, Munoz comes home and Montez goes all the way to third base. Yeah, he was very alertly turned and started to go down to second base. Oh, he wasn't going to stop. When he nope. saw that ball being thrown to third base, he took off right away for second. So Mario Munoz scores the first run of the fourth inning, and that gives them two runs total. So the score now is 9-2. to two. Elmwood leading. Runner on third base is Montez, and this is Mark Johnson who grounded out back in the first. He hits a shot, and they're calling it foul. Trying to hit his teammate. No, I, with the uh, marriage proposals, though, I mean, why, why it's such a uh, tense situation? Because well, you hope nothing goes wrong with the marriage if they decide to get married. <laughs> but if it did, I would feel so badly about it because, uh, you know, Line drive in the left center field, scoring Montez from third. Who he takes the big turn, he goes to second, and he's out of there. Mark Johnson trying to make it go to first, or he's trying to stretch it into a double, is out at second base. But scoring on that play, Matt Montez, the second run of the inning, third run of the game for Westside. Oh, you know, we could just go wild on this now and come up with all kinds of ideas, you know. Yeah. But, I, you know, I feel like... 550, a, we could have a, a wedding. 555, we could have a game. You know, you, you mean, know. think of all those neat things. But I feel like a middleman for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> Big line drive foul down the left field side for Bill Musso. I mean, you think back at it, I've made more proposals out of the air. Oh, have you? <laughs> yeah. I was going to ask you that question. How many years have you been here now? Many, many, many. Many years, yeah, many years. And this isn't the first, huh? Oh, it's no. my first here. This is my first since I've Proposal? Been here. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I, there was a least two, I think, last year. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, I must not have been working that yeah. day. No. There's a shot hit on the ground. Short step. DeLeo picks it up, throws the first a little bit wild. Off target. Mousseau going down to second base, and he's in there standing. So Mousseau is on base. Two out, a man on second. Kelly Palacios. 9-3 is our score. Bottom of the fourth inning. Kelly, he singled back in the second inning. And looked like a ball was called by Charlie Hale. That one's hit on the ground. Third baseman picks it up, throws, long throw, and a nice throw because he just got him by an eyelash. Palacio is out number three. So after four innings, the score now is 9-3. Elmwood Plaza leading West Side Lounge. And our crew, I mentioned Jamal before. There's a look at him over at first. Why is, uh, Jamal, why are you dressed so warmly? I mean, it's nice out. And I mean, he's still dressed. Uh, he's got the heavy jacket on and the sweatshirt on. I mean, it's as if it would be cold out tonight. It's, it's such a beautiful night out here. And the gloves, you see the gloves, but I mean, everything matches. Which is hey, so very I, I think that's great that he's prepared. That's and right. He is definitely prepared for all kinds of weather. It's easier to take it off than it is to put it on when you don't have it. You know, we were talking about marriages before, too, and uh, Craig Monroe that we've had out in center field, he's getting married. Craig Prairie is going to be his uh, new name, so our congratulations Isn't to him. Isn't he going to be Monroe Prairie? Uh, well, he could do that, too. Monroe. He ha I don't think they've really decided that yet oh. or not, you know, if he's going to be a Monroe Prairie first child they're going to name his son. Sun Prairie? Or Sun Monroe Prairie. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's coming. I mean, he's preparing. I think that's, what is that, two years away? Oh, really? Something like that. They want to be sure. Well, Dan Larkin's up for his third at bat here. He's grounded out and flown out, so he's due for a base hit here, 0 for 2. We're under the direction of little Mikey tonight, and uh, Darren Stevens back in the studio. There's a fly ball in the right center field. Second baseman pedaling back, can't make the play, and Larkin is going to be on. Base hit, just like I told him. Larkin getting that hit. One for three now for Dan.
Carlos Amaya. He's got two ground outs to his credit. Or discredit. <laughs> <laughs> no, However good you look defensive at it. play. Yeah, good right. defensive play. There you go. They're calling time out there. It's they're looking Probably for about 20 after 6. <laughs> <laughs> they're looking for a left fielder. Yeah. Well, they're swung around. You got your right fielder. Sure, he's there. He's yeah. just playing in right in left center instead of left. That's right. They're giving him the line. Amaya hits one on the ground. Ooh, nice backhanded play. And a good play over there by Eric to get over there. Nick Sanchez making a great backhanded play. Flips over to Eric to get the out. So Larkin becomes the first out of the inning. Boy, they're making this tough on us. There's been some good defensive oh, plays. Oh, very good. Very both good. of these teams tonight. So one out and one on for Ernie. Ernie D. Ernie DeLeo. He has a home run and a fly out. The big shift is on. They're moving their infield back a little bit. And they're giving him a line. Ball he hits one, one down the line. Good and, night. And he hits one in the left center field. And a beautiful catch there by the left center fielder, Mark Johnson. Boy, he went over there and just jumped as high as he could and made that play. You see, well, I guess that defensive play worked, huh? It did, and they uh, had to make a spectacular play anyway to get the out. Ernie was upset too, boy. He wanted to. He was looking for that line. Two outs and Amaya still at first for Rick Moronis. Rick hits one over the right field, drops in for the base hit, gets by the right fielder. Amaya goes to third. Is he going to hold up there? No, he's coming home as the ball goes to second base and gets away. And Moronis goes down to third, and, and the ball go goes way behind the screen. So Moronis is going to come all the way in. Again, alert play. He just kept going. And that ball getting behind the screen allowed him to take home. So two runs score here in the fifth inning for Elmwood Plaza. That gives them 11 runs. 11 to 3 now is our score. Elmwood leading West Side Lounge. Berto Saldivar playing first base. Singled and scored back in the fourth. Takes a pitch for ball. <laughs> and the next pitch. Hit into the air, left field side. It's gonna drop just where the player should be. But here he comes running in, can't make the play. So Matt Montez had to run a long way. He got a glove on it. But it's going to fall for a base hit, so Saldivar is on first, and he got a single out of that. You know, in defense for him out in left field, he can cover a lot of ground out there, almost made a great catch. And he had a long ways to go that time. So I've got two outs and Flonis at bat. I think you're right. He hits one on the ground, deep short, bobbled the ball, picked it up, flips the second. Oh, he couldn't hang on to the ball. Oh, he's going to argue now because his hand, he's staying his hand wasn't on the base. Eric Enos making a nice play to get over there to cover second base as Sanchez flipped him the ball. And they're saying Saldivar had his hand off the base, but to no avail because Barry Roberts calls him safe. So Flonis winds up at first base. Salivar down to second. Two outs, two on, two runs across. And Nick Shook is up. He grounded out and got on and scored with an error. And he hits a foul ball. Next pitch by Palacios. Hit onto the ground. Deep center, deep shortstop Nick Sanchez picks it up, steps on the bag for the force out. 
four, out number three. So in the inning, two runs scored and one, two, three, four hits for Elmwood Plaza. 11 runs on nine hits now after five innings for them. And they are leading 11 to three as we go to the bottom of the fifth. On the Disney Channel this month, James Taylor is going home as is Gloria Stefan, Robin Hood and the Roots of Goofy. Just some of the offerings on the Disney Channel and to order the Disney Channel and any of the other premium channels. All you have to do is call Telecable at 637-9637 That's 637-9637. Three runs on seven hits for Westside. Going to get something going here in the fifth. We got Eric Enos, Bill Schultz, and Al Sanchez Jr. in the first three. Number seven, eight, nine in the order for Westside. And in our second ball game tonight, also from K Action, it'll be Dearborn Street Station taking on Stuart Photo. That ball game coming up if you're watching our live portion tonight at approximately 6.50. If you're watching it on the replay, Nine o'clock tonight. Okay, Eric hit into a double play. His only other at bat back in the second inning here, leading it off in the fifth. Hits one into the air, center field. And a beautiful catch there by Amaya. He's got some speed, Ron, and he caught up to that ball and made a beautiful catch for out number one. Well, you know, you look at Eric and you think of uh, the guy I think of is Mike Larry. He's still oh, about yeah. the same mm -hmm. way Mike Larry mm -hmm. is. And Mike Larry was just about a month ago named uh, head football coach at Carthage College. Oh, wonderful. I'm very happy yep. for him. Yep. And there's another play by Amaya. Two sparkling plays in the inning. So, two up and two down. As we go to Al Sanchez, Jr., Al hits one into the air, right side. Dropped between the fielders. He's on his way to second, round second on his way to third. They're just picking up the ball now and Al's gonna touch them all. As the ball's just now getting back to the infield, Al Sanchez gets a big home run. He placed that one correctly, Ron. So he gets a big home run here in the fifth inning with two out and nobody on. So now the score is 11 to four. Shelly says yes too, by the way. This is Shelly, by the way. she's here and she says yes. Oh, how wonderful. So that's, like I said before though, it's a tremendous amount of pressure that was put on me that I hopefully that this <laughs> marriage will work out. Well, that's good. They're gonna. Oh, that's great, great, love that. <laughs> Nick Sanchez now, the next batter. He hits one into the air, left field side. Nice catch made by Larkin out there in left field for out number three. But one run scored on one big hit, the home run by Sanchez. The score now is 11 to four. West side, or Elmwood leading west side. And Ron Shaw will return with the conclusion right after this word. This morning, without ever leaving the classroom, Mrs. Roberta King will take her sophomore classes to the rings of Saturn, visit both houses of Congress, tour the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and be back before lunch. In Racine, Telecable provides cable in the classroom to all schools free of charge for use as a teaching tool to explore new worlds, new ideas, new ways of learning for all students every day. To learn more about cable in the classroom, call Telecable. Teaching and television join forces with Assignment Discovery. Each program airs weekday mornings at 8 a.m. on Discovery Channel 29A, bringing teachers two documentaries and an on-air study guide. Science, technology, history, the arts, and current issues come alive, commercial-free and free-to-tape for all educators. To learn more about Assignment Discovery and Cable in the Classroom, call Telecable at 637-9637. We start the sixth inning of play as Elma Plaza will be sending up Joey Savala. And we'll be having player of the game with the 
both of these teams at the conclusion of this ball game and he takes that first one for a ball, ball one. Pops one up down the right field line. Foul ball. Just outside the line. And that first one was called a strike, so he's out on the swinging strike. One down here in the sixth. Donnie Wadowitz. A home run is the last time up. Mammoth shot. Drills one to left field. Keeps it on the ground there that time. Tell you what, how hard that ball was hit. He was maybe about the quarter of a way down first base when that ball was picked up out in left field. Shot to left field. Hit number 10 in the ball game now for Elmwood Plaza. Pat Matson. The catcher is up there. 0 for 2 officially reached on an error. Base hit to right field. Knocked down. As the throw coming back into the infield, Wadowitz goes to third, and Matson holds up over at first base with one out for Darren Anderson. Darren 0 for 2 in the ballgame. Short, short, second, and it gets away at second base. One run scoring. Enos flips that ball to the right center fielder, Sanchez Jr., coming in that time. So a run scores. It's now a 12-4 score. With runners at the corners, Matson down at third base now, and Anderson over at first. And Dan Larkin back up there. One for three in the ballgame. Back to the mound. Second for one. Relay to first. The double play. So they get out of the inning with only one run scoring. Couple hits, one left on base. Twelve runs, eleven hits now for Elmwood Plaza. Four runs, eight hits for Westside Lounge. Rob Jones going to be leading it off. Followed by Mike Molina. And then back to the top of the order in Mario, Mario Muniz. First three coming up here. The bottom of the sixth inning for Westside. For Elmwood Plaza, they scored two in the first, two in the second, added five in the fourth, two in the fifth, and one in the sixth inning here. For Westside Lounge, the one run in the second inning, two runs in the fourth, one run in the fifth inning, and that's how they have gotten their four runs. Rob Jones, he flew out his first time up. Strike one. Swing and a miss. One and one is the count. That first one was a ball. And a full count now. And that is the ball, the walk. As Jones goes down to first base. And Mike Molina stepping up. He hits a fly ball out to right field. It's going to drop in there. Throw coming back into first base. Runners at first and second with nobody out now. We swing back to the top of the order. Uzo gets up there who reached on an error his last time up. He came around and scored one of the four runs. Strike one. Side, he can sit up at one and one. Out 
towards center field, dropping in for the hit under the glove of the left center fielder, and three runs are gonna score here. And all of a sudden, with nobody out here, the score is 12 to seven, as Westside Lounge cuts that lead to five. Just got underneath the glove. Out in the outfield. Guy Mueller, he is 0 for 2. Foul ball down the right field line, giving chase. But it's a long strike, 0 and 1. one as the fielders get back into their position. Inside for a ball. And he pops one up. Long run. That's going to drop in there. Bouncing away. He's on his way to third. And one of the shortest triples we've seen. As Mueller standing over at third base with still nobody out. Matt Montez steps in. Another run scores. And Montez on, on the air. So now it's a 12 to 8 score. Four runs across here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Mark Johnson, 0 or 1 for 2. Base it his last time up. Deep to left. And have played well out there as Larkin making the grab, the throw coming into second base, and Montez wisely goes back to first. He might have been out there at second base. That was a good throw in by Larkin. Bill Muso. Ball one. The left field over the head of the outfielders. And this will score two more runs. So a big inning here by West Side Lounge. Six runs across, and all of a sudden it's a two-run game at 12-10. Kelly Palacio stepping up. One for two, a base is first time up. Back in the second inning. Strike one. Out towards center field. And San Sa Sanchez or Moronis making the grab for out number two. And Eric Enos, who is 0 for 2, flew out his last time up, steps in. Two outs, nobody on base. Strike one. That's inside for a ball. One and one. Base it to center field. So now all of a sudden the tying run coming to the plate in Bill Schultz. With two outs and a runner at first.
and he gets underneath that. Sends it out towards Larkin, who squeezes it one-handed for out number three. Six runs crossing the plate. Five hits. So 12 runs, 11 hits for Elmwood Plaza. 10 runs, 13 hits now for West Side Lounge, and we've got a ball game going in to the seventh inning of play. Amea, DeLeo, and Moronitz, the first three coming up here. For Elmwood in the seventh inning of play. They need runs all of a sudden now. Leading by the score of 12 to four going into that bottom half of the sixth inning and all of a sudden the big six run inning has brought this game to within two at 12 to 10. Carlos is 0 for 3 officially reaching on a fielder's choice as the last time up came around and scored. Fly ball. Mueller going back and makes the catch for out number one. Ernie DeLeo, a home run, his first time up. One for three in the ball game, and we'll be having players of the game for both of these teams at the conclusion of this ball game tonight. Going out towards right field. Sanchez Jr. making the catch. Two, a, two away. Two up, two down. Rick Moronis, two for three in the ball game officially. Reached on an air, a couple of singles, and he has scored all three times he's been up. Two outs, nobody on base. And he fouls that one out of play. For a strike, 0-1. And he skies that one. Enos going back and makes the catch. A three up, three down. Top of the seventh inning here. Nothing across. So a couple of runs can tie it, but three would win it here for Westside Lounge as we go to the bottom half of inning number seven. Bottom of the order coming up, Al Sanchez Jr., Nick Sanchez, and Rob Jones. First three coming up for Westside Lounge. Rocky Five, George Carlin Live, Mortal Thoughts and Talent for the Game. Some of the offerings on HBO this month to order HBO and any of the other premium channels. All you have to do is call 637-9637. That's 637-9637. Notice the uh, baseball game going on over at the other diamond. Uh, one of the teams involved over there is Park High School, their JV baseball team. Al Sanchez Jr., two for two. And over the head. And that's rolling out. And that will be a home run. And we've got a one-run ball game. Well, that was another shot by Al. Hit it out in right center field. And then he hit it in a proper position because it rolled between fielders and all the way. That's his second home run this evening. So it's a one-run ball game. Nick Sanchez, 0 for 2, a couple of flyouts. That's a little bit high for a ball. One-run ball game here as we're at the bottom of the seventh inning. Swing and a miss. He was out in front of that one that time. And a full count. And 
And that is a walk. Tying run on. Nobody out. Well, Nick hesitated there. He didn't hear the call right away, so he was uh, hopeful that it was a walk, and it was. Rob Jones, who walked and scored in that six-run six, follows the first one off for a strike, 0-1. We've got nobody out. One run in, tying run over at first base, a winning run here at the plate. One and one, the count. Line drive, right field, base hit. Gets underneath the legs of the right fielder. We're gonna have a tie score here as Jones heads down to second base with a winning run with nobody out. Yeah, that just simply went right under the right fielder's glove and rolled right past him. And they have the score at 13 to 12, so that's the final score. Again, we are not official scorers in the, these ball games, so uh, whatever the teams have or what the scores are. Well, they, they must have got together and looked at the scorebook. 13 to 12, our final score. West Side Lounge coming back in this ball game with the victory as they scored uh, six runs there in the sixth inning and then came up with uh, two runs here in the seventh inning of play for the victory in this ball game. Our most valuable players, first of all, for uh, West, let's see, for uh, West Side, Al Sanchez Jr., a couple of home runs. The home run tied it up here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Donnie Wadowitz for Elmwood Plaza, their most valuable player. He had a home run in the ball game, scored three runs as well. So that's our first ball game. Second ball game that we will have coming up here tonight. We'll have Dearborn Street Station taking on Stewart Photo. We'll have all that action for you in just a couple of minutes for John Pomgren. The rest of our crew, I'm Ron Shaw. Keep shining. Stick around. Game two coming up right after this. <laughs> 